What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. You guys know it is. It's your boy Kevin man. Alright, so I did a video yesterday and a lot of you guys were telling me, yo, Kevin, you need to check out Nuke's top five. You want to see some really scary videos. So guess what? That's what we're doing. Today we're gonna be checking out top 10 scary ghost videos that will make you cry like a little baby, okay? Not the rapper little baby, but just like a little baby. Alright? So, anyways, man, let's get into this damn video. Let's go. Nukes top five. I did, I, I'm not sure if I did a reaction videos to these guys. Bucks Grave Road. Friends David and Dell from the YouTube channel Signs and Signals are driving down a creepy back road called Bucks Grave Road in Carlisle, South Carolina. Bucks David Grave and Dell road. say that when they were kids, they witnessed some very strange things out on Bucks Grave Road, such as odd, unexplainable lights and orbs. So. While driving down the narrow dirt road shooting some b-roll for their video in the car, they experienced something absolutely unnerving. I think that's enough b-roll there. What do you see? You don't want to waste up all the, all the battery already. The camera's battery's gonna get my f***ing sack. Deal. What the f*** are you doing? I'm zooming in, I can't. There's a flashlight. Deal, deal. What the f***? What are we, what okay, what are we supposed to do? Ain't nobody supposed to be out here. Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. What was this? Damn, damn. What the f? What are we, what it's someone with a flashlight. Definitely someone with a flashlight. Ain't nobody supposed to be out here. Look right here. You see that person walking? Jeez, you guys see that guy walking? It looks like someone's walking. Right there, right there. Oh, shit. Just walk in the f woods. Okay, can it, where? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It could just be somebody, you know, got lost going out for a late night stroll, man. It could be just that. Um, doesn't have to be anything like terrifying. Like, let, let's let's keep watching. Let's keep watching. Let's keep watching. Where's the headlamp at? The headlamp should be right there. Like he didn't. Like he stopped. Did he turn off the light? Yeah, he probably did. Can you see in there? No, I can't see. I'm zoomed in. I can't really see. Zoom in. Don't zoom in. Don't zoom in. Let me don't zoom in. You should be zooming in so we can see everything. What the f***? Yeah, hold on. Oh, there. What, you what the f*** are you doing? The content play. What the f*** are you talking about? The content play. Gotta do it, right? David, what the hell are you doing? Doing it for the boys. Hello? I already tried that. He don't want none. I'm trying to hear. You dumb mother So he is talking to somebody. Okay, okay, come on. Damn. This is some dumb <laughs> This ain't even what we're supposed to be here for. Dude, I couldn't hear or see anything out there is so pitch black. Damn. At least my boy went out with a flashlight, right? What the f Dude, go, go! Jeez! Go, go. You, what? What, did you guys see? Dude, I couldn't hear or see anything out there is so pitch black. Damn. That was legit. Scare the shit out of me. If someone came and slammed my window like that in the middle of the night after I was just watching this guy like walk down the, the, the creepy path and just like, boom, two hands on your window, bro, that would scare the shit out of me. Like, for real. That would honestly scare the shit out of me. Like, for real. Look at this. Look at this. Right, you're mad. I'm out of there. Are you the friend? The friend's like, let's get out of here super quick. Go, go. Go, go. go. That would be me. Go. I would be that guy shouting, go, go. To this day, David and Dell say that they have no idea who or what the creepy stranger could have been. And paranormal or not, they claim that they have never been so scared in all their lives. Yeah, this is, this is terrifying. So, this is shit out did of they me. encounter some creep in the remote woods? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. I mean, that, you can that watch this entire video and many more spooky moments over on their YouTube channel, Signs and Signals. Neighborhood Watch. Sarah Marie and her husband Bobby are having an afternoon get-together with some friends at their home in Florida. 
when suddenly they spot something very odd at the neighbor's house across the road. It comes back the other way. Why? It looks like somebody is peeking through that window, the one that's open. Oh, I saw someone right by. Yes! Yes, it is. Oh, it's the shadows. <laughs> Look, you see it again? Look at the door. There's nobody in that house. There's nobody. There's somebody in the house nobody. walking back and forth. I don't know, but it can be that visible, nah. dog. This <laughs> A strange shadow can be seen yeah, quickly moving see, back and forth that. in I Sarah's I saw that. neighbor's home. Freaking out everyone and even seeming to upset their two puppies. I said I saw someone pace. Look right there. Back and forth a little quick. There's nobody in that house. There's nobody at all. Sarah explains online that the home belongs to an older woman whose son, sadly, had passed away. Worried about the older woman's safety, Sarah calls her neighbor. But the woman says, um, I'm not even at home right now. Woo! So who or what could this be? I leave it up to you to decide. That's the ghost. The ghost the guest. Over on the Japanese YouTube page, Kuroshiro channel, an anonymous paranormal investigator, Shiro, who always wears a mask, sets out to investigate an allegedly haunted hotel room somewhere in Japan. The investigator says that recently a man's life was taken in an extremely violent and barbaric way in one of the hotel rooms. Since then, the room is said to be haunted. Shiro plans to spend the night to investigate. So Shiro sets up a few static cameras and a motion and voice activated toy dog. But during the investigation, the motion sensing toy begins to act very strangely. Hmm? なんだ。え、いやいやいや、それはないわ。どうした？おい、え、なにこれ壊れてんだけどマジで。なんか落ち着いて。一回電源切るか。Okay. A little shaken up, Shiro resets the toy dog and continues to investigate. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. It don't do They kind of like building up the tension. Like, like, what, 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 what's going on? He turned out the dog, right? That's why it's not going off when he's walking by. From the corner of his eye, Shiro sees the hallway door slowly open by itself. But when he goes to check, there's no one there. When he turns back toward the hallway, a frightening dark figure can be seen standing Woo! right in front of him. Shiro Woo! recoils in shock, tripping over his own feet. He quickly grabs his camera and gets back up, but the figure is just... Bro! I missed that! That's why he fell! That is... What? Hallway, a frightening dark... That shit would scare the shit out of me, like, for real. If I saw this, if I saw that, 
No, sir. I'm not even spending the rest of the night there. I'm out. I'm sure I'm out of there, man. Like, seeing this. Uh, and he's by himself? My guy is by himself, too. Like, a lot of these guys, they go out in, like, piers and shit like that. This guy's there by himself with his little GoPro. No, oh, thank you. Nope. Figure can be seen standing right in front of him. Shadoro recoils in shock, tripping over his own feet. He quickly grabs his camera and gets back up, but the figure has just disappeared. Shadoro believes that he might have captured the angry spirit of the man whose life was taken in the hotel room. But some of Shadoro's viewers think that the apparition looks more like a woman, perhaps even the vicious entity responsible for the man's death. Wow. But what do you think? You can watch Shiro's entire investigation Ooh. over on his YouTube, Kuro Shiro channel. That is scary. Before we move on to the next video, if you see shit. anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Lights out. Unfortunately, there is very little information available on these next videos. The clips were recorded by a group of friends exploring an abandoned building somewhere in Kazakhstan. But what they capture is truly Bizarre. What the hell was that? What Ничего нету. Астафрула. Бля, вот ты, вы, конечно, нашли в плане. Я буду хуй сделать. A dark shape-shifting figure can be seen in an upstairs Wait, window. So quick. Let's think about it. But what makes this footage so creepy is that the apparition only appears when they turn away their flashlight. When the group heads inside and upstairs to investigate, they find nothing there. The guys seem skeptical and just kind of laugh off the creepy experience, even though they can't explain it. But who or what is this? Yeah. Let me know what you think. I don't, I don't know how to explain that. That's, that's, that's pretty scary. The Cumberland man. Gap Honestly, Inn. that's pretty scary. The historic Cumberland Gap Inn in Tennessee is said to be extremely haunted, with hotel guests reporting many strange and unexplainable experiences. So, so this place is extremely haunted, but yet it's still open. Um, sometimes I wonder why these people keep this open. But then after you like, realize, like, okay, they probably keep opening so more people can come and like ghost hunters and stuff like that can come and spend the night, I guess. I don't know. I I, I don't think I'll be able to stay in a hotel that I know was haunted. Because it's not my job. There's a YouTube people and YouTube channels who do that kind of stuff. Me? Nope, I'm not that guy. I just watch videos. <laughs> Experiences. Lonnie and Neil from the Paranormal Investigation Team Tri-State Paranormal Investigators decide to spend the night in one of the inn's most haunted rooms in the hopes of capturing anything supernatural. And they do. Shortly after setting up two static cameras, they capture something on video that is right out of a horror movie. Are you mad? And there's the thing that's... Look at that. Okay, the thing that's messed up about this, there's no, I don't, there's no way you can do this with like strings or anything like that. There is no possible way. The way this thing just sank down, there is like legit zero chance. No one's sitting there. I believe they caught something real on camera. Like, honestly, I believe these guys caught something on camera. Like for real, man. Looking at this, they definitely caught something on camera. Look at this, freaking him out. Like, how do you do Wait, that? Oh my god. Seems like the bed moved again. Changed the water to 
Hombre, no. Something invisible seems to sit down yep. on the edge of the bed right in front of Neil. Shocked by what he just witnessed, he calls out to his team member who quickly joins him. Now after several attempts at trying to debunk what they've captured, Neil and Lonnie have no idea how the mattress could have sunk down in so such a way. Someone sat on it, right? Especially since it would require a great deal of force on the bed. So could this be paranormal evidence that the Cumberland Gap Inn is haunted? I believe. You decide. Haunted. Guardian Angel. Haunted. That one's haunted. That Only one's real. Only a few months ago, TikTok that user Tana Witt went through a devastating... Without a doubt, that last one was real, man. I believe that I was haunted because there's no possible way that I can end the video or sink it in like that. I believe that one was 100% real. Stating tragedy when her brother suddenly and without warning passed away. Tana's brother was incredibly close to her family, including her two-year-old daughter, Evelyn. Aww. One night, Tana and her daughter are home alone when something happens that shocks Tana to her core. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Talking to Evelyn. This is Who are sad. you talking to? Who are you talking to? Mom's getting concerned. Evelyn seems to be talking to someone that we can't see. And creepiest of all, a whispering male voice can be heard that seems to say, Uncle. talking to see this kind of stuff right here this i don't know like it, my eyes are watering i'm trying not to like let it get to me but this is like sad it's not like scary i believe this is real because the kid they say kids can see a lot of things that, that parents and adults can see and i feel like the kid and the uncle had such a bond and the uncle doesn't want to leave and it's just saying maybe saying goodbye or Spending some the last time, a bit of time that he has with with his niece. And the niece the niece can see her. We can't. Like this brings tears. Like I, I like I try to hold it back, but something like this brings tears to my eyes. And I believe that this is real, man. This is tr this is real. I believe this is real. Put in the comments down below what do you guys think. Yeah. Even stranger, baby Evelyn seems to have heard the voice as she happily shouts uncle over and over. Uncle? Aww. Uncle? Who are you talking to? Uncle? Oh. Uncle? Uncle? No. No. Wait. Tana believes that without a doubt her two-year-old daughter is speaking with her deceased brother yeah. and that Evelyn is I being looked that. after by her loving uncle from the other side. The Tainted Temple Popular urban explorer Chris from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill sets out to explore the abandoned Masonic Temple in Cleveland, Ohio. The temple was built in 1916 by Freemasons, a secret society that is shrouded in mystery. Freemason members have included politicians, scientists, writers, and many of the world's cultural elite. Throughout the many years, it has been said that the Freemasons hold secret meetings and perform strange cryptic rituals. Some have even made wild claims that certain Masonic rites and ceremonies include a sacrifice. What? The Cleveland Masonic Temple shut down in 1969 and has been left to rot for over 50 years. Chris attempts to record and capture the architectural beauty found inside the building before it's gone forever. But he quickly realizes that he might have made a terrible mistake. Uh oh. You go. Why do you go by yourself, Mike? 
Why? Why do people go by themselves? Go with a friend. Something touched me. I swear to God. I swear to God. It felt like something just touched my back. I don't know if it was my book bag flopped on my back or what. And he's doing this at night? Get the f out of me. I swear to God. But I guess that's the best time to do it, right? That's when the ghosts come out. And there's no water drips. Yo, that scared the f out of me. Okay. Let me calm down. Ooh. Chris says he feels like something is touching his back, but there's nothing there. After collecting himself, he continues to scout through the abandoned building. And this is when things get weird. Really creepy. You see? Like, I don't know, man. Like, I try to, like, reason and say, maybe, maybe there's someone else lives in there. Maybe, like, someone else, like, lives in there and they, like, didn't want to be filmed, so they closed that door. You know, it's an abandoned building, like I said. It could be homeless people living up in there. And homeless people, they live anywhere, okay? Sometimes they live anywhere. But it could be a ghost, too. It could be something demonic. I don't know. I'm going to try to keep, keep it down. And I'm going to say it's some a homeless person, okay? That's what I'm calling it. It's a homeless person, okay? That's what I'm saying. What the f***? Door. He kicked the door open, right? The door didn't just swing open like that. Why is the door so narrow anyway? Like, who can really fit in that? What the f how narrow this door is. It's more like a little closet, I guess, here. Eh? Did you see it? Right before the door slams shut, a creepy face can be seen quickly <gasps> moving back behind the door. But when Chris opens it, it's clear that there would have been no room for no room. anyone to stand there behind the door. And the room nope. is empty. Chris is shook, but nope. he continues on. Later, no, thank just you. before he leaves to go home, Chris goes that back to chills. check the mysterious I, door I got goosebumps. one last Let me time. Get some focus on this. And Look at he that. captures I actually got goosebumps. something truly Bizarre. I legit got goosebumps for that one. That one gave me goosebumps. I do not remember closing this door. Hold up. Because there's no room. That's when I left this. Back there for someone to like hide. Close this door. There's a thing, but there's like no space. Behind this door for someone to hide. And he fully showed the whole room. So, what the hell was that? Bro, what the hell was that? I cannot remember. See, this is getting creepy, man. For real. Like, for real, it, it is. Okay. Why not do it Door. What the hell? There's no room. Hello. Like there's legit really no room for, for anyone to fit back there. It's closed again. Maybe it is the wind. The wind? Where's the wind coming from? Right though? after Chris says hello, a faint voice can be heard saying yes. Hello. 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 So just what do you think is going on at the abandoned Masonic oh, temple? Shit. And is it possible that strange Masonic rituals led to the lingering supernatural activity? You can watch this entire exploration and decide for yourself over on Chris's YouTube channel, Urbex Hill.
Bro, that, Keep that, a knocking. That, 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 that scared the shit out of me. user Maru75 from Germany claims that one night he heard some very odd sounds coming from his living room. When he goes to check it out, things take a terrifying turn. Maru hears knocking from the glass back look, door, but as he looks, he spots some dark figure moving behind him in the reflection. He spins around, but there's no one there. Oh my god! He turns god. back toward the door, and the figure is gone, and the door has mysteriously opened by itself. That shit would so, terrify me. Look at this. Is it real? Or is it Can you imagine seeing this, bro? Can you imagine seeing this? Like, for real. You're looking in the glass mirror. And then you see something, you turn around, and it's nothing. Bro, that would legit scare the shit out of me. I would have to get out that house. Like, I am so out of that house. Like, yo, yo, I gotta go somewhere. I gotta go find some people where I can hang out with them. Be like, yo, you guys are staying over tonight, okay? Laugh at me if you may. Some people may laugh. Like, you really would do that? Yes, sir. I would really do that, okay? I'm out. Is it just very clever video editing? As always, I leave that up to you to decide. Three's a crowd. Now this next creepy occurrence was captured by three different paranormal investigators on the exact same night. John from the YouTube channel Exploration Unknown, Tim from the YouTube channel Breaking the Shell, and Josh from the channel Southern Afterlife. The three guys are all investigating an abandoned farmhouse in Kodak, Tennessee, called the Kelly House. The house is now part of a large wooded area designated as a bird sanctuary. But that wasn't always the case. The Kelly House was built sometime in the late 1800s and bought by the Kelly family in 1917. Now, honestly, not much is known about the history of the house. But many Where visitors claim to have heard night? strange unexplained footsteps and voices inside the home. Some have seen eerie shadow figures. And scariest of all, multiple people claim to have seen the eerie apparition of an old farmer wandering the property. Okay. So the three ghost hunters decide to spend the night in the old abandoned Kelly house to see if the spooky stories are true. All three of the ghost hunters are recording all at the same time. Now Josh hasn't been here, so he's gonna go in first this time. Last Look time guys, ever. you're watching yourselves. Hey. Hey, wow. I got the wow. camera too, my guy. Not long into their investigation, all three guys are recording when John captures something downright chilling. All right guys, so I got the REM pod set up. So if anything comes near that, it'll go off. And this is the new box. You probably saw it in the last video. I don't have a name for it, but it combines an EM pump, ambient temperature readout, and it also acts as an echo box. So if you can come up with a cool name, drop that in the comments. But we'll be using that later. What do you say? Pretty cool. Okay, guys. They're sitting there. Can't I'm wait gonna... to see what this house I has to say. see the little planet. They get Saturn. It's next to it. It's bright. My guy's out. Wow, John's outside recording. Out. Somebody's coming out. No, it's Tim. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, you ruined my moonshot, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I already got it. Though. You get it's that moon good. bow? Yeah, it's beautiful, man. Okay. All right, guys. We've got. K2 meter over here in this window. We're getting things set up. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Someone on top. Here, oh, was that, oh, was that someone else? One of their friends. We got Josh on the see porch. It? Now all three investigators can be seen on video at this time. Josh is on the porch, Tim is outside in the field, and John is strolling through the house. No one else is there look, with look, them. Look, look, look. But John accidentally captures an I unknown fourth that. figure. Someone or something I saw, walking that's on the exactly landing what I saw. up on the second floor. 
Now, John didn't even notice this bizarre shape at the time. He only saw it later when he watched this footage back for editing. I, but I said that's that. not all. Because while Tim is outside in the field looking at the house from far away, he too captures something on the second floor. Look it. In the window. Now let's go in. Tim also sees a dark shape that appears to be wandering the second floor. Josh, who's outside on the porch, eventually decides to go back inside after oh. hearing some strange noises. And he also captures, well, just watch closely. There's none out here. Tim's out there. There's nobody out here, except for Tim. He's down at the end of the yard. There's nobody out there, man. No. Except for Tim out there. Where's he at? He's out in the corner of the yard. Oh, yeah, I saw his eye out there a while ago. Did you see it? At the top of the staircase, in a room to the left, again, something dark appears to be watching and then slowly ducks out of sight. No, I missed that With one. three separate and distinct captures of a shadow figure and all three investigators accounted for our own camera. That one looks Could it be that the historic Kelly house is haunted? As always, I leave that up to you to decide. You can watch all three investigations on the YouTube channels, Exploration Unknown, Breaking the Shell, and Southern Afterlife. Night at the Museum. Nate Ratterman and his wife Kaylee own and manage what has been voted one of the most haunted museums in the world, the Museum of Shadows located in Omaha, Nebraska. It's always, the spooky it, museum it's always showcases the, the over 3,000 allegedly haunted it's always artifacts, in the state somewhere. including a few very creepy dolls with even creepier stories. One of these artifacts is a doll named Ada. The story goes that when a family moved into an old house, they found Ada in the attic. Creeped out by the doll, they threw it away immediately. But two years later, Ada came back. The family found the doll right back in the attic where they had originally found her that two years earlier. Shit right there. Now completely freaked out, the mother of the household took the doll and threw it in the trash again. Only hours later, and the woman found the doll halfway up the driveway almost as if Ada was slowly crawling her way back home. The doll was then obtained by the Museum of Shadows. Ada is kept in a glass box to keep her from escaping. Over the last five years, Ada has been witnessed and recorded seemingly trying to get away again. This is some of the creepy footage Ada wants to go home. that has been collected. Multiple occasions, Ada has been captured moving by herself. These are just a few. And as if that wasn't creepy enough, Ada has a few friends in the museum who seem to join in on the fun. Ada and the other dolls have become incredibly oh, popular that. attractions oh. at the museum, with many visitors claiming to have seen them move with their own eyes. But the dolls aren't the only things that move around in the middle of the night. Sometimes when the sun goes down, it's almost as if the museum comes to life. Are you dumb? <laughs> Are you dumb, bro? You're not catching me there. You're, you're not catching me there. Oh, 
hell? Someone's played? You're not catching me there. I'm I'm out. That's some craziness, my guy. This is madness. But the strange activity is not limited to just the night. That is Sometimes it happens right in the middle of the day. Are the doors gonna move? <laughs> Legit terrified. They're like, nope, that's me right there. I'm touring this thing and that shit happens? Gone. <laughs> gone, sir. I'm gone. So with five years of recorded footage and countless real eyewitness reports, could it be that the Museum <laughs> of Shadows is haunted by the thousands of cursed artifacts kept within its walls? And would you go to a haunted museum? Tell me what you think. Uh, to watch much more of their not. paranormal evidence, head over to the YouTube channel, Museum of Shadows. Thanks so much for watching. Nah, you won't catch me at these dab museums, guys. All right, subscribe, like, all the good stuff. Bye.